Hello and welcome to West Wales. If you're new here, my name is Becca and um, I'm trying to think of a very quick introduction if you're new here. So if you're new here, I'm a 50 something caregiver and part time YouTuber and I make videos about living a slowish life in West Wales. Plus my favourite subject, playing around with hand spinning and wool. Yeah, that's not very concise. I need to work on that, don't I? Anyway, you're very welcome. I'm hiding in the hedge because it's really windy, so I don't actually know if you're going to be able to hear this. Just put out my first weekly vlog, so I thought probably ought to get on and actually film some more footage for my next week's vlog. And uh, we've got blue sky. Can you see? Blue sky! It's not raining! I mean, it's blowing an absolute hoolie, but it's not raining. So uh, I'll turn you around and show you where you are. Oh, right, okay, so this week I've got to go and get some more water glasses because I've had a smashing time and we've got guests coming in a few weeks time and we've got nothing to drink water out of, so not a good thing really. But uh, I tend not to buy glasses new because I just knock them off the side all the time. I mean, literally all the time, so yeah. So that's a bit of a charity shop. Um, I was going to say hall, I don't know, I haven't been there yet, might be nothing. Uh, bacon's got to come out of the, um, the cure, and then that just needs to sit for about a week before I slice it. Uh, video to make for the end of the week, so um, spinning podcast, and it actually is a spinning edition. This week uh, I asked for some things people wanted to see demonstrated, and I've got a nice little list of things. And I think the first one I'm probably going to do is um, joining without a lump. If you're not a hand spinner, that's going to mean absolutely nothing to you. But anyway, so that is the plan. Hopefully, I'm going to get and inspect the bees. I don't think I'll show that, though, because people get a bit freaked out by bees. Um, I mean, my dad was a beekeeper. I grew up with bees in my back garden, so I'm not freaked out by them at all. Well, I've been a beekeeper myself for 10 years, so, you know, I'm not freaked out by, by bees. Oh gosh, no, it's more than 10 years. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, now I feel really old. Right, so, um, what else? I uh, want to go to the library, get some more library books. If I didn't go to the library, I would just spend my life, um, well, I'd spend all my money on books. Right, oh, wild hair. Okay, so, back in the car, up to Fishguard, look in the charity shops, and then it'll be time to go home. And I'm pretty sure there are quite a few people that watch my channel that are in fact carers or um, actually receive care themselves. And I'm sure you'll be able to relate that you have to sort of plan your week. So you've got slots of time where you know that uh, you can be away from home and away from your loved one for um, a set amount of time. And yep, so I've got my set amount of time for today. And um, I don't have enough time to go to the library today, so I should probably do that tomorrow. So off to um, off to the charity shops. So we'll see what we can find. I don't think they'll want me to film in there. I have asked before, and they've been a bit like, "Oh no, don't want to be on YouTube," which I guess is fair enough, really. I mean, Andrew doesn't want to be on YouTube. Not that he's kind of ashamed of anything, and I'd happily have him on the channel. But you know, it's just it's uh, it's his decision, isn't it? So uh, yeah. Right, okay, off up to Fishguard. Okay, so that was a bit of a total fail, but I will try again later in the week. Back home. Oh, okay, so back at the house, uh, I want to make a video about potting up my dye plants. I'm going to make a cup of tea, which is the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to find something for this tripod to sit on because I'm sort of crouching down, otherwise my head's out of shot. Ah, right. Well, busy day and um, not quite sure when the uh, planty video is coming out. Probably next week. I don't know. It might have come out before this one, actually. I really haven't worked out how I'm going to do this um, 
YouTube scheduling stuff. Anyway, see you in a little moo. Hello, so it's Wednesday and we're at Lanchard Church, which we quite often come to and it's what's called a pilgrim church means there's no regular service but you can just come in and sit and uh, pray or just have a bit of uh, time to yourself and um, we like to come here every so often every few weeks and it's looking particularly lovely at the moment despite the rain because there are primroses everywhere so i'll turn you around and show you the primroses so in amongst the headstones are all these wondrous primroses and there's absolutely a sea of them and a little bit later on a few weeks time they're going to be joined by lots of bluebells so there you go anyway it's ever so windy out here so i don't know how much of this you're going to be able to hear or i'm going to be able to use so time to go I think. It's Friday and although it's a bit windy there's blue sky, it's not raining, hurrah! So this is, oh when is this? This is middle of April, yes, oh, come on, engage brain. This is the middle of April and my next job after I've walked the dog is to go up and do a full inspection of the bees. It's finally I think just about warm enough and it's not raining and I think this is going to be my only chance for another week or so so really need to do that because they need to be treated for varroa and that's got to go on so I have to basically take the hive apart and put that on so that's kind of my job for today it looks like the um the spinning video will be out probably on Saturday because I haven't filmed it yet I was going to film it yesterday but I had a really I don't know, I had a day where I was kind of not really feeling it and uh, I didn't really get out of my bad mood, and I was in a pretty bad mood. I didn't really get out of my bad mood until I just played around in my sketchbook. And uh, yeah, I just kind of got paints out and all my art supplies out and just scribbled really. But actually, I think that's quite good to do. I really want to take you somewhere exciting rather than just in the woods behind the house, which is where well, we keep going but I was hoping we were going to get out and do some photography well I'm not doing photography Andrew's doing photography right oh I'm getting in a, a tired arm hang on a minute so once a week Andrew and I like to go out and he takes photographs and I go for a longer walk than I can do when he's not with me so fingers crossed we'll get that done in the next few days and I'll uh, take you along so uh what else has happened? Oh yes, one of my favourite YouTubers is back on YouTube. There's a lady called Kate Singh and she and her family live in California and she started off making videos specifically about sort of frugal living and simple living and she um, is very good at burning herself out and I can completely understand. So she's been off YouTube for a little while but she's back and it was really lovely to have her back and uh, she just, you know, stream of consciousness talks about her life and she's a lovely lady and so I'm going to have her on in the kitchen when I'm preparing my veg for the evening meal which uh, yeah I'm looking forward to. So probably not going to take you to show the bees because well firstly I know a lot of people don't want to see bees because that's not for everybody and also I actually really need to concentrate on what I'm doing so um, I'll probably see you maybe a bit later on today maybe in a few days time. So until then, stay well my friend. So we're back from a walk and I have inspection boards to clean. They have been in the shed all winter and they are looking a little bit kind of mouldy. So uh, they go underneath the beehives and I'm treating the bees with an anti varroa oh, treatment called Apigard and it's um, thermal gel, thymol gel, not thermal, thymol gel, which is basically derived from um, 
time and it kills the varroa but it doesn't harm the bees. And if you don't do that, then basically, eventually, your hives die from various results of the dear little varroa mite. Who obviously is just doing its thing, but unfortunately, um, doing its thing, it kills off the bees. Um, so, yeah, I don't really like to use insecticides in general. But... Also, I don't really want the bees to die off. I think this may be our last year of beekeeping because it's getting increasingly difficult to keep bees. And I think we both decided that uh, the next time we have a colony collapse will be the last time because it is, yeah, it's quite difficult, it's quite challenging. Right, so next thing, this is my smoker, which is kind of repaired with gaff tape, as everything in my life is repaired with gaff tape. And I've got smoker fuel, and then I've got my tools to disinfect, and so this is my uh, inspection tool, and again this has been in the shed over winter so I'm going to give it a quick wash and then I'm going to disinfect it by actually getting the old blowtorch on it and that is my bee brush which yeah I think I can't take that with me because it's looking a little bit worse for wear so that actually I think needs to soak in a bit of uh, vinegar and um, water, white vinegar and water, just to disinfect it, so that's not going to be dry in time. But anyway, so that's what I'm up to, and uh, I've already said I'm not going to show you the bees because I don't want to freak anybody out, so uh, I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so just inspected the bees. It wasn't ideal because it's blowing an absolute hooli, so it was a very quick look. They do still have some stores, but I'm a bit concerned, so I think I might have to put a bit of food on. I mean, this time of year, really, you shouldn't need to do that, but it's such a weird year. Uh, there is lots of dandelion, and they are going out and foraging, but just there's so much rain forecast. So, uh, they've got the treatment on. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned, particularly about one hive. It seems to be a bit small, so... Uh, We'll see. Uh, so fingers crossed, I'll get some food on and uh, they'll be all right. But anyway, no doubt I will uh, keep you updated as the season goes on. And uh, I, was, I think I was being a bit doom gloom when I was uh, in the garden, kind of saying, oh, it'll be our last year. I don't want it to be our last year, but just uh, I am just very, very aware of how weird this weather is and how difficult it is for the bees. And there is definitely a risk of starvation. So. I'm going to put some food on for them and fingers crossed that will stop it. So anyway, I will uh, see you in a bit, I guess. I gotta, um, I'm going to go home and uh, record the spinning part of my uh, video podcast and probably won't get to record the kind of uh, in front of the camera, sitting in front of the camera stuff until tomorrow, uh, which means it'll probably be out on Saturday. But you'll know that by the time you see this because, yeah, this comes out after the podcast. Anyway, right. So uh, see you in a bit. We've come to Lower Town. Uh, Millie absolutely loves it here when the tide is out. And you can see it's very picturesque. And we have been here before on the channel, but not for a long time. And this is really the end of the River Gwine. And we were a bit further along the River Gwine the other day when we were in the woods. But this is the mouth of the river where it joins the sea. I'll try not to spin too fast and make you seasick. There you go. And there is a few yachts. There is a few yachts? That doesn't make any sense. There are a few yachts that have been put back in the water. A lot of them are still in the marina, but they will go into the harbour as the season progresses. Majority of these houses are now holiday homes and second homes, 
there are still a few local people that live here full time, but the majority of them are, are let out, which has its um, so it has its uh, pros and cons as most things do. And there's plenty of people will tell you bad things about holiday homes in Wales. And the sea cadets meet over there. I think it's sea cadet night tonight. Let's go a bit further on. It's a bit of a grey sort of afternoon. I don't know how much more filming I'm going to get done this week because the forecast is really not very good at all. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. So this might be the last little vlog of the week. I'm going to turn you around in a minute because in fact I will just turn around like that. So I'm going up to that beach there just to see if anything's washed up because you sometimes get some quite interesting flotsam and jetsam. So we'll see what's up there. So this is what the tide's brought in and it looks like it's a marker boy of some description or actually do you know what it might be a, um, a mooring boy yeah I think that's a mooring boy looking at it yeah somebody will be missing that and there you go there's the yacht club over there so in this season that's open for crab sandwiches and a nice cup of tea. And you can also go and do some harbour gig rowing on a Sunday morning if you want to try it out. There we go. And there's a very nice pub in Lower Town. But as I don't really go to pubs anymore, I won't go in there. But there's a nice pub and it's dog and muddy boot friendly. There you go. And you can just see the outer light and quite often when we're on the beach in Goodick, and I take you on the beach in Goodick, we can see the inner light, but that is the outer light. Okay, folks, well, I shall probably see you tomorrow at some point, if it's not too rainy. Good morning, and it's Sunday morning, and the sun's been shining, and yeah, it feels like actually spring might finally arrive which would be rather nice. I hope you had a good weekend. I mean I know the weekend's not over but I guess it's going to be the end of the weekend by the time you see this. So last night I had one of those 3 a.m. moments of total clarity and inspiration and so I had to get up and very quickly just did a mind map. I can't write notes because I just they don't make any sense when I wake up in the morning, kind of after I've done it. So kind of brain dump mind map all about the tapestry. Because I walked my little frame loom and I'll show you that when uh, when I do my video podcast for the end of the week. So I walked it and it was just kind of sitting there and I was not quite sure what I was going to do. And then suddenly in the middle of the night, ding, brilliant idea. That's okay. But a couple of other things came up as well as I was recording it and a bit of a surprise. It's like, oh, I want to do a gallery show. Gosh, and I thought I was just going to be weaving a rug. No, <laughs> no, apparently not. Apparently, when I was writing down my kind of little stream of consciousness, little words and things that were popping into my head, gallery show. Gosh, wow. I mean, I definitely don't even have the skill level at the moment to put together anything like that. <laughs> I know, I've, I've made one tapestry. So uh, yeah, so that was a bit, uh, bit of a surprise, but I think I now have something to work towards 
with uh, the tapestry. So um, it was exciting and lots of other things came up, you know, sort of what type of colours I want to use, what style I want to work in. And this morning I was just quickly getting the old uh, phone out and having a look and looked at the British Tapestry Group and looked at some of their work they had on the on the uh, website and uh, yeah so I was really attracted to the more stylized and more abstract rather than the realistic which yeah I'm not surprised by that to be honest because uh, although I do paint in quite a realistic way in my sketchbook um, and I do quite a lot of semi-realistic stuff for uh, kind of um, the illustrations I put on my stuff that I sell um, yeah I do personally like a more abstract style so yeah that was good and uh, I feel very energized by it all now I'm gonna have to sit down and write myself out a schedule to when I'm gonna fit all these things in because <laughs> I also yesterday recorded a video which probably won't go out until next week because I do actually have to do editing and you know other things as well so uh, yeah oh it's really good and um, I'm walking through the gorse and it smells divine I mean absolutely divine it's uh, pina colada I always think right so it's been a bit of a choppy week I'm not sure I like this format for the vlogs uh, I think I want to have more of a, a sort of an overarching theme. I've got an idea of what I want to put on the podcast next week. I also have something to include for my newsletter um, members, people that get my e members, not really the right word, is it? But you know, email subscribers, my email newsletter subscribers. I have. Uh, a freebie I want to attach and send out so I'm gonna to have to work out the technology I had a bit of a fail again this week with the email so it didn't actually go out I um, I wrote what I thought was quite a good little article and then promptly deleted it uh, and didn't send it to anyone and it's not because it you know kind of I was thinking oh I can't send that out it was because I am an idiot sometimes and just was rushing and didn't actually save my work. So yeah, bit of a fail, rookie mistake. Well, not even a rookie mistake. I mean, you know, I've been using computers since, well, when did we all start using computers? And I used them at work. Early nineties. I mean, I shouldn't still be deleting work, so I should know how to save it. Anyway, I did. And so there was no loose letter this week. I apologise if you are in fact subscribed to it. If you would like to subscribe to my newsletter then I will put a link in below in the um, description and I try and do a weekly newsletter with you know sort of hints and tips on how to do hand spinning, ideas for you for projects and yeah that's uh oh gosh so anyway that is me done for the week and I will see you really soon and um, yeah have a fantastic week until I see you next bye